Aww. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> Dude, this is, we need to record that shit. I am recording. <laughs> but. What? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to do a live. <laughs> okay, we're doing a Q&A and now, I've never done a video like this before. See, I'm stuttering already. <laughs> We're doing a Q&A today. I asked last night on Instagram. I don't know why I'm pulling it up. You guys aren't gonna be able to see it. I asked on Instagram for comments for a Q&A and video I did. We got my new editor in training, Miller Coakley. He's here today filming this for me because uh, yeah, we got bored and so he came over. We're thinking about live streaming this on Instagram as well. All right, so here's a question. Whatever happened to the people trespassing at the Deer Club? Well. I think the last sighting of them was the pictures we got on the trail camera, if I'm not mistaken. We haven't had too much trouble with trespassers here recently. I haven't been down there much, so there could be trespassers. I don't know. This deer season, we're going to be on it, though. We're going to set up trail cameras on the road beds and everything and make sure nobody's trespassing because, uh, you know, that just, that just sucks. Razor versus Garrett's Camaro. The Razor would wax it, okay, yeah. up to like 40 mile an hour. Yeah. And then after that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Someone said garage tour question mark. Garage tour is coming today on the second channel. I don't know if this video is going to be uploaded to the second channel or the main, depending on how good it comes out. But garage tour is definitely going on the second. So, links in the description for that video. Because I heard them first. I said, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Dirt bike giveaway, question mark. Okay, a dirt bike giveaway. Now, I'm thinking about building a CR250, something about them. I want to get like a 03 to 07 and doing a plastic conversion kit, taking it all apart, cleaning it up. I actually want to buy a parts washer and a sandblaster before I get around to that project. I don't know. I'm looking at buying a 2003 CR250 this weekend going to the pit bike race in Virginia. And if I can get a hold of that one, a dirt bike giveaway will be around Christmas time this year. The website that I'm currently building and me and my merch manager is uh, working on. We just gotta get all the logo designs in and then we're gonna start producing mad shirts and stickers and stuff. Someone said, this is a really important question. Do you like chicken nuggets? Question mark. How the hell do you not like chicken nuggets? Someone said do a riding video on the KTM. Yeah, we got a bunch of videos on the KTM coming very soon. We've been filming a lot of dirt biking content yeah, more and uh, buying bikes and selling them. So yeah. all those are coming shortly. Uh, someone said, what was your first ever dirt bike? That's a good one. All right. Story time. I was, how old was I? Like, I was like 12, 13 years old. I was on a Honda Fat Cat. If you guys don't know what that is, you probably haven't been here long enough to remember that. That's back when I had like 30K subscribers back in like 2015 or something like that. I begged my parents for a dirt bike and Julius had already had like two Honda 70s and a Honda 80 and I had daddy's handy down 1987 Honda Fat Cat, which isn't really even a dirt bike. And for Christmas, they bought me a $300 blown up XR100 that was like a 1995. Total hunk of shit. It was blown up when I got it. And after that like build that we were supposed to do on it to get it fixed, Dad was going to work on it for me. He never really got it going. So we ended up buying another one that was like $650, but it ran. It was a total hunk of shit. And here is the picture of it. I guess they're not going to be able to see it. I'll put it in. Okay. Yeah, you'll put it in there, right? All right, so here it is. This thing is a hunk of junk. This was actually taken when I first got it, and that was the best it ever looked. This bike actually is what taught me how to work on dirt bikes. Obviously, if you buy a brand new bike, you're never going to learn how to work on them because they never really give you any issues. But this thing, I hardly got to ride it. It was more of working on it more than riding. It was ridiculous. Uh, someone said, would you ever hold your own truck meet? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I, I'd rather just go to somebody who's already hosting a truck meet. Now, if I did host one, it wouldn't be nothing big and serious. It'd probably be like, yo, you guys wanna meet up at the Walmart or something, you know? So, I would never be like anything big. Someone said, take the Razor or Honda to Busco Beach. <laughs> I might be going to Bosco Beach soon, mainly because Miller lives over there and I wanna take the, uh, the Honda out after I rebuild it. Are you gonna lift the Polaris? No. 
mainly because I like it fast and nimble and I really don't feel like lifting it and putting it on big ass tires because once you lift something and put it on big ass tires same goes for all our trucks and vehicles shit starts breaking when are you going back to Durham town I don't know that's a trip we need to plan though so uh, whenever I do plan it I'll promote it for you guys if you guys want to come ride you come out mm -hmm. what's the worst injury you've had I mean dirt bike related I had 10 or 15 stitches in my leg where a peg had jabbed into my leg. So here's the picture. It really didn't hurt at all. You know, you think it looks bad, but it really wasn't. It wasn't bad at all. I've had other crashes like where I face plant or there's, there's been a lot worse crashes that came out worse than that. Does my hair look nice? Yeah, it looks really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited for deer season? I'm because I'm from California and deer season for us is a month away. I am so freaking excited. I'm actually, I think this week or next, I'm gonna start putting out corn at the deer club and taking inventory on all the bucks there. So I can go ahead and start developing a game plan for this year. But this year, I'm thinking we're gonna be able to do everyday vlogs of deer season. Every day, if not every other day. But I'm thinking every day. So y'all better stay tuned for that because it's gonna be crazy. Uh, this guy says, did you ever ride a street bike? Are you gonna ever get a street bike? Uh, I'm probably never gonna get a street bike. I might get a 450L, but I mean, I don't know. I don't want no crotch rocket. I don't really want a Harley, but I would like a Supermoto or a Grom. And I'm kind of holding off on buying a Grom just cause I feel like if I buy a Grom, go through the process of getting my motorcycle license, then I'm gonna go buy a 450L. Yeah, I just, I just don't want to spend the money. You trying to raid Area 51 with me? Just let me know. Oh, hell yeah. I'm freaking, I cannot wait. I'm ready to see what happens. I mean, I feel like a bunch of people are going to show up and they're just going to stand outside the gate and nobody's actually going to... September they're not gonna, 20th. September 20th? Yep. I feel like nothing's really cool going to happen. Mm -mm. I just I just don't see it happening. So, on um, one hand, I'm looking forward to it. On the other, it's like, ain't no, nothing's going to really happen. Yeah. I kind of want to go to Area 51 though. What videos do you like doing the most? Oh, that's a tough one. I love mudding videos and I love dirt biking videos and razors and garage stuff. But my all time favorite is hunting videos. And yes, a lot of those get demonetized and I lose a bunch of money paying editors, this, that, and the other throughout deer season because they're editing videos and I'm paying them to edit videos that don't make me any money whatsoever. But I just love hunting videos. I mean, there's the challenge of, the challenge of actually having a hunt come together and it being perfectly filmed is just, it's it's hard when you're self filming like that. I don't got a camera, man. I'm doing it all myself. And that's just the challenge is what I love. Fishing, I don't really like fishing videos. I think it's because I can't catch fish, so. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most difficult thing to do when making a video? Sometimes talk. I stutter a lot. <laughs> Are you getting a radio roof or just getting the stock one? I actually got to take my old broken Polaris roof to Iron Horse for them to send in a uh, a warranty claim and if they send me a free one i'll definitely be getting one of those if they replace it and if they don't i i refuse to buy another one i do not stand behind that product whatsoever unless they're gonna back their product up themselves and replace it so sick. why are you so thick i eat cookout a lot that's probably the reason cookout you gotta get the chicken sandwich you guys if you guys remember last year's season it was always spicy chicken sandwich no tomato extra mayonnaise with a beef quesadilla and now they got those cheddar cheese bites. Oh my gosh. And they're freaking cheer wine. Oh, you guys, it's addicting to say the least. Someone said, when are you getting yourself a Yamaha dirt bike? I already got one. <laughs> it's a hunk of shit. <laughs> you guys will see that soon if you guys haven't seen it already. Any possible collaboration rides with any other Moto YouTubers such as Vroom Vroom Dana? Uh, Vroom Vroom Dana, he actually, I think it was a year or two ago, he wanted to fly over here from California to ride. And I don't think we ever really got it planned out, but I could, I could do a moto vlog with Free Room, man. That'd be dope. Other collabs that people have wanted to do are like Andrew Flair. He wanted to come down from Nebraska. And I don't remember if he wanted to go on a hunt or what. That was a while back. I never got around to doing that. I got to start doing these collabs better. I really want to collab with Zach ATK1. I'm supposed to be meeting him at the race tomorrow. So that'll be dope. He's actually who got me started YouTube. And who else? Kendall Gray. Me and Kendall Gray are planning some stuff. Someone said, what is the biggest fish you have ever caught? I don't know, like a 40, 50 pound catfish. 
I think you need to tell them about Larry, man. Everybody's asking about Larry. I can't tell them about Larry, dude. We're skipping that one. All right, all right. Okay. Someone said, why aren't you posting that much on YouTube? Well, YouTube, I film a lot, but a lot of stuff takes a while to get edited and whatnot, so it's just kind of a long process. It's something that doesn't really go too quick. Like, these people that every day vlog, you, you gotta realize that they're grinding hours upon hours, like nine, 10 hours, more than that. They yeah. work from sun up to sun down to get a video out. I mean, it's ridiculous. And every other day is a struggle with me. But sometimes I get into these like work grooves, like they're in deer season when I'm filming a lot, and I can actually keep up that every other day post. It's rough sometimes. So you go through some dry patches and whatnot, but uh, I'm gonna try to get more consistent. Someone said, when are you getting the Supermoto? You were talking about it when you got the 250R a long ass time ago, and I was excited as fuck. Uh, well, I wanna buy a 450L. I just, I don't wanna, like these dirt bikes, you can buy one and you're out a couple thousand dollars. Yeah, big whooped, but, on top of buying a eleven thousand dollar twenty nineteen four fifty L, then you've got to pay insurance on it. You got to I gotta go get my motorcycle license. It's just it, it takes a lot of money to do that, and I'm trying to hold off till I'm a little older. Just hopefully I'll have more money in the bank, and I won't have to worry too much about it. We're waiting on the whole Supermoto thing. I'm gonna give it a while. Moto vlogging to me has kind of been dead. I don't think many people watch it as much as they used to. It used to be a big big community, but it's died down recently. And so I'm not sure if I should jump back into that and try to revive it. So I don't know. I'm gonna stick to dirt bikes for now. All right. All right. What's your favorite pistol, rifle, and shotgun? Favorite pistol, either my Glock 19 or my Glock 20. Honestly, my favorite would have to be like a Glock 40 with the MOS just for deer hunting. Them things are badass. My dad has one. Shotgun. I still, my main shotgun right now is just Remington 1180. That's what I use right now a lot. I would say a Remington 1100 or Remington 1180. Those are my favorite. And then rifle, definitely the Remington 700 model lineup. I got a 700 243 and dad has a 707 mag. So the 700 models are just, they're jam up. They're great. All right, well, we've kind of gone through a lot of the good questions on Instagram. We're about to pull up a live stream and see if we can get any more good questions. Uh-oh, Zach ATK one's on the way to the Battle of the Goats. Hey. We'll have him stop here at the house and jump in on this Q&A. All right, we're live. All right, we got 25 people, 68, 189. Uh, I think we're stuck at 277. We are currently doing the Q&A, so if you guys want to jump in on this and ask some questions, go for it. I'm gonna be reading some of these comments. 590, good gosh. 635. <laughs> 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 668. Oh, someone asked how your how your eye is. How's your eye? Uh, it's a okay now. It it really was <laughs> like I couldn't see for like a day. It was bad. Which Good is your favorite gosh. bike? My favorite bike. My favorite bike definitely the KTM X or 250 XC. That bike is so quick. I've outran a bunch of or a couple 450s, a bunch of 250s, and some 302 strokes. I mean, it's so quick, but it has great down low and it's just smooth. It's a great bike. <laughs> Dirty man. Julius Gay, I've never seen him with a girl before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Julius isn't gay. That man pulls some uh, okay. great YouTuber, terrible Fortnite player. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't wrong. How do you feel about the Carolina Squat? The Carolina Squat is actually a cancer in truck form, so oh. watch out, it might get you. Come ride in West Virginia. We're actually going up to West Virginia, I wanna say in October, maybe November. I'm not sure if I'm invited, but dad's going, so I'm probably gonna jump in on that. Why did Julius break the dirt bike fender? Cause uh, he doesn't, he's not, okay, yeah. We're not gonna get into that. Do you like John boats? I love John boats. They don't get no better than a John boat. You can't, you can't sink them, man. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, yes. We racing or Foxy six seven. We racing or what? Oh, me and Foxy, we still got to race. Me and Diego. The video actually went like fifteen thousand likes, and I said at ten thousand, uh, if we got to ten thousand likes, we'd race. So me and him are doing a race soon. That'll be dope. I'm a wax him though. I'm gonna freaking. I'm a gap him because I'm handing out some gaps. Come to Canada. I want to go to Canada on a deer hunt. Yeah. I'm looking for some like uh, what are they called? Elk. No, not elk, the stupid. <laughs> no, like uh, some ranches or something that'll oh. take me in to hunt. Listen, who are you with? 
I'm with Miller, my new editor in training. You Polaris or Honda? Definitely Honda. Polaris sucks. Flat out. Flat. Flat out. Uh, oh, here's some things everybody doesn't know about me. I hate ranch and I don't like sweet tea. And yes, I'm from North Carolina. <laughs> Someone said you should make a cleaning detailing video. On what? On what? <laughs> I, I want to do a dirt bike though. Huh? I want I want to do like a video like that on yeah, a dirt bike, cool. but like, my truck, no, I hate that shit. I hate washing my truck. I despise yeah. it. So they said, how old are you? Uh, I'm 18. My birthday is August 24th, so I'm almost 19. Thank God. What's better, turkey hunt or deer hunt? Turkey hunting is fun, but I've never really been good at it or killed a lot of turkeys till like this past turkey season and last. But deer hunting, I don't know. I could never give up deer hunting. I could give up turkey hunting though. Someone said go to Bosco and do a meetup. That'd be fun. Like we could do a meetup at Bosco. You guys want to see that? Yeah, that'd be. You fun. Might have to do it. Have you ever been bear hunting? No, I'd love to kill a bear though. Very cool. I'd use them as a blanket instead of a rug. <laughs> do you duck hunt? I don't duck hunt really. I have duck hunted before. Uh, I'm not very good at it. I'm, it's something I want to learn and get into. So this year I plan on doing some duck hunting now that I'm out of school. So uh, duck hunting stuff will be coming. Do a vid with Kendall Gray. I'm actually working on a collab video with Kendall Gray right now. I need to go film it. It's just. It's so hot outside, it's just, it's ridiculous. So I'm hoping for a cool day to where I can actually go finish filming it. Someone said, have you ever skinned a rabbit? Yes, tons of them. Dude, did you shoot Larry with the Glock? <laughs> what made you want to start YouTube and what inspired you to keep doing it? Uh, Zach ATK1, you guys probably heard this multiple times. He's the one who actually wanted me or made me want to start YouTube. Me and Julius, we used to watch his videos like every Friday when he posted them and uh, got us all excited for riding dirt bikes on the weekend, like around the house. And I actually ended up getting a GoPro for Christmas, waiting till the next Christmas and getting a laptop, and then waiting till the next Christmas to get editing software. And then with those three things, I was able to start the channel up. And uh, after that, it was just kind of history. It just took off, so I'm lucky for it. iPhone or Android? Oh, that's a good one, dude. Ooh, I, I obviously got the iPhone. Uh, I had Android for a long time. The Android was actually somewhat better, in my opinion, better on a lot of things, like being able to multitask on it. But the iPhone, it just works. You got a good camera. Snapchat works. Instagram works. Everything. It, 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 the iPhone literally just works. It does what it's supposed to. With the Samsung, Snapchat, and Instagram, like their camera quality was ass. And that was kind of the deal breaker for me. I, since I literally make my living off social media, I kind of need to be able to take pictures and stuff on Snapchat and Instagram. So I went ahead and got the iPhone. KTM or Honda? That's a tough one. Honda's the most reliable, but KTM, they are set up factory for whatever you want to do. They got the XC models, XCW, SX. I mean, they got so many different models and so many different, like the 300, the 250, the 150, the 125. 85 i mean they got all these models and they're just ktm's killing them but honda's like they're the most reliable for sure if i was going to get a track bike definitely a honda trail bike definitely ktm what would be your career if youtube wasn't a thing that's a good question i'd probably be slaving my ass off working for my dad in construction so thank god i'm not having to do that <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this q and I don't know if this is going up on the main channel or the second. Once it's done and edited, if it's good enough, we might upload it to the main channel. Uh, we kind of plan on filming this for the second channel. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Uh, and maybe we'll get to them on the next Q&A. Also, one thing that I forgot, favorite thing that's been sent in the PO box for my fan mail. This has got to be it. Shout out to Jacob... Burnwell, this thing is dope. It'll buff all wood carved in. Also, here is my play button. I did get a play button for 100K. Now it's just time to get to a million. So please like and subscribe. And guess what? I will catch y'all on the next one.